expensive and she had it. I had the TikTok before. I don't care if I have TikTok. Well, more like she's gonna stay at home, she's gonna be super bored, and she's gonna borrow you all the time. I guess she needs some social media to play with. And TikTok, as long as the content she wants. Takes watches, over there's... people's lives. Yeah, it's kids friendly at least. This one, the one I cap it with the clear powders. But as I say, you don't have to, not necessary to. Oh, one of the nails that you were broke before, huh, Isabella? This one? She's holding this nail. What happened to this one? Oh, oh I was playing around and I was doing too fast and one of the and fell off. This last good. I all my like, natural meals. I have a picture of like uh, last week. Was that last week or a few days ago? Do pranks on super cute bling nails that do pranks on your dad, then upload it, upload it on TikTok. <laughs> I don't no, know. I can't do, do that. You can't? Oh, she's going to try. <laughs> that that is gonna be a fail time on it. We're no, still, we're still just, gonna have a good laugh though. No, just try it though. Bring it over a bit. There you go. Somos verdes. Well, for some, most of, for some of ladies, it's already Saturday. Yeah. Let me turn this okay. and make sure that I get the street. Easy, easy, easy. Yeah, that's enough. Yeah, that's enough. Thanks to that inside tips is if you are using a regular tip that we do, we can absolutely still build it. It's a little bit thicker. You have just have to build like a little bit more on the free edges because they will curve down. Um, I'm gonna show the look of the tips since I have using this it's just you know save so much time and the structure of the nail is still really nice and it saves time for you if you have the clients um, do a lot of custom nails like this which is I have a lot of clients like if you're doing the clients a shorter nails like a spot lane you using um, you can using the traditional like a classics uh, tips I just want to have um, to show it quick, I have two kind of tips on my stations. Like, I want to show it quick. Okay. And bring it back just a bit. There you go. Let me see if the ones I have right here is the inside tips. So if the client have a shorter nail spot length, I would use this our traditional tips. But the clients that come in with want to do is, um, you know, is custom nails and longer. And instead of have to build and you can see on the size, it's nice and straight for me. But if I have, um, let me see if I can dust this off. is this one keeps sliding off but if i using this one then you can see that if i place this tip on the client's nails that you can see how big how much is curved on the side right here so if usually i do have to build this part to be a little bit higher and shape that so then if you're doing this then you might well using a forms that's going to be much better but if you are using tips you can see the difference of it um, from a different look right there i'm so pleased with these tips if you're doing like a custom nails but then also you can build this one too but it's a little bit take longer time uh, to doing it, but it definitely is possible to do too. So it's just an option. So when I get busy with a client, like back to back with custom nail, usually I do um, this tips. And I have a client have a shorter nails than I using this tips.
it looks from if you're using a look from on the top like when you take a picture for instance if you're cutting this if you if you have this tip and you want to cut a coffin just using your tip cutters or your scissors you can cut it it's basically it's already in like instant um the coffin for you but then if you're using this you can also cut it as a coffin but let me cut it so i can show you um either you cut from uh, using your scissors or you can cut it with the clipper it's also good too and then you just have to shape it so when you shape uh, when you shape this, you can still see the bulkiness on the side because this is a design for our traditional like a square shape. Um, and now it's with the trendy of all coffin shape to, in order to do a really, really um, trendy, precise uh, uh, coffins, almonds. You can get this one really good, but then a lot more like works on to build on the side. Cause even then I cut coffin, but you can still see it's how nice, like it's still curved. It makes more like ballerina versus a really precise coffin. So you can see that uh, two different uh, structure of the tip. It's nothing wrong that the way you're doing your powder, but you can see this one at curve, high uh, curve on the nails versus to the inside tips, the straight tips. This one. Right. So instead of right here, viewing the apex here is like curves right there. So it's make this why you, if you have a question like why you take a lot of time to file them, to shape them, and it still come out really bulky in the size and it doesn't look precise like you see in your picture on Instagram or Pinterest or um, wherever you're seeing it. Right, just because it's a different uh, structure of the tip, it's not nothing wrong with like part of the you filing too. too. The filing is one of the technique too, but there's tips which is like a foundation of the house. It's make a majority of the shape look for your nails. Right here, to what page is it on this? Uh -huh. Yeah. Well, okay. They've been enjoying it. And no, because it was paused for a second. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So. So now anyway. let move into I'm gonna compare these nails to make sure that I did definitely this one is a little bit longer just a little just a little bit okay looks good Isabella let's go to shaping and now using e-file and again well if you see me doing a lot Lyra, of different videos Lyra's is like take the time you Thank you, Lyra. You see, I'm using the sand beads, which is a medium grit. And my go is just on the side of... On the side of the tip. You know, a lot of nail techs, they... Thank you so much, Bonita. Like, um... Check the time. It's not 47 minutes. Okay, good. Thanks so much, Liza. Yeah, so we get 15 minutes before that. Um, Great. So then we can done with this one. I will do your designs on hers. I'm going to share with you doing a marbles with um, marble nails with fusioning. And then we can use the totally white and some cute, simple uh, butterfly stickers because Isabella oh, like okay. her tiny little ones. Make sure you check on the free edges right here. So with the beginners, I even now, if I have a busy like a day as well, I like to use my fan bead. It's not only like it's more that I can control, but also it does majority of work for me. And then I can go back with the other ceramics or um, titanium beads that you have for the cuticle cleanup. On the right, on the surface and nails, I usually I keep the files like flat. Bonita asks, do you use the fine on a natural nail or you are using medium? Uh, you can use a medium or fine. It works for both. It's just a matter. It's not about the um, the beads that's going to be further to damage for the client's nail. It's just like how you're using it or if you're using your too, um, like too heavy-handed. Sorry. 
Okay, good. Better now? Mm -hmm. Just use a dollar hand, like, turn it like that, okay? Thank you, Isabella. It looks like my sand. It looks like a old one. This is actually the new sand. Like, it doesn't have a black sand. Um, you can see the little black sand particle has come off from the file, if you remember. Um, I don't know if they do have it now. Oh, no, black or brown one. So I'm using the newest one, the, the white um, color. So it's really nice. It doesn't look like um, it has all that... Um, Excess particle of the black sand is falling super, on the cuticles. Super cute bling nails ask what carpet drill do is the best to use. The it's really depends. So if you're using for a uh, liquid gun powders or acrylics, I would use a ceramic. I using ceramics, I use several of them. I use ceramics one which is that is more easier uh, on the client's nails. I'm gonna go on the side and clean the majority of it. It does almost a work for me, and then I just need to go with the ceramic bead or other type of uh, beads that you have to clean the cuticles. And you can see that I clean up on the side. And I make it like um, a circle on the cuticles. So it builds a really nice shape and structure of the nails and it keeps it nice. And also is eliminating of bulkiness on the side. Just say it like combination of like tips and the uh, techniques of you picking powders. Just take your time with the powders, don't no rush. If you need to get like a smaller, sometimes with the clients, they have longer nails. And I know that if I take a little bit more time to do a, a acrylic application, it saves me so much time from filing. Like, Basically, you see, I don't have to file it too much. Um, and I'm gonna change it to my ceramic speed. You can either do medium speed or you can do it's fine. It works great as well. So I'm gonna go in and clean really close to the cuticles. This is important because if not, then her nails will probably leave in like two days. So you can see that between the acrylic and her cuticle is totally safe right now. Well, just really be careful with this like really um, light touch. And so you just want to clean the uh, acrylic off uh, from the excess acrylic off. You don't want to get in down to her nail bed. So just really gentle. Give it a little bit like um, times when you uh, doing this to get at first, it's really hard for me when I learn it. Be honest, I'm not gonna lie. And I said, I clean it so nice and it's still lifting. So I look back, I said, oh, okay. Then also, like sometimes I feel like I'm heavy handed. So then if you're heavy handed, it's gonna be damaged, the client's nails really um, bad. So uh, just try to, and then also the one I want to show earlier with the clear, Powder, just this help for a lot of issues is applied for beginners. It helps you so much that you don't feel like you're heavy handed and you buy too much of powder off. I just need to clean up like all that extra uh, powders, that's all but not on her skin or her nail plate. I'm gonna turn it and see if I can able to clean all the underneath. 